Hi, my name is Matthew Sauer with Canadian Energy, and today I'm going to talk about the difference between AGM and our standard traditional flooded lead acid product offering. In the standard flooded lead acid, uh, there is actual liquid electrolyte that is uh, that's filled up in this entire cell, whereas in AGM, there is no loose liquid. Everything is absorbed into a glass mat. So I could tip this battery completely on its side and no liquid would come out. Whereas if I were to tip this battery on its side, uh, we would probably see uh, electrolyte run out of the vent hole. So AGM tends to hold up better in cyclical applications, whereas a flooded lead acid battery is going to be more beneficial in just a starting application. An AGM battery can be anywhere from three to four times as much as uh, its equivalent flooded lead acid battery. So not only does it come down to performance when you want to pick a flooded or an AGM, but it can come down to cost and what your budget is. Uh, if you are running on a tighter budget or just you know don't see the benefit in having an AGM battery in your vehicle, you can go with uh, the Canada Proof Mix Tech. Uh, with the mixing technology, we do see extended life, uh, that of a traditional lead acid battery for half the cost uh, of an AGM. If your vehicle has the starting battery in the trunk uh, or inside the cab underneath the uh, driver's seat or passenger seat, you are gonna wanna go with absorbed glass mat because it does not off gas. Whereas if, you're, uh, if your battery is just underneath the hood of your car, uh, you are more than capable of just using a standard flooded lead acid battery. There are no pros and cons to that. Uh, with AGM, you do not want to really increase over 14.4 volts uh, because if you do, that increases the internal heat uh, of the battery. And what these, what an AGM is susceptible to is drying out. So if you were to be putting your battery in, a, in a, an extreme high heat uh, area, uh, you know, you may want to go with a flooded battery. Um, whereas flooded, you can really hammer these things up to 14.7 volts. To check out all of Canadian Energy's battery offerings, check out our website, cdenergy.com, or contact one of our local branches.